and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining a solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes so without wasting time let's get started so today's problem is maximum product sub array which is marked as a medium level problem okay let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one array arr of integer type and array will be containing elements from minus 10 to 10 okay so these will be the range of elements which can be present and array size can be max 10 raised to the power 6 okay all right so one thing will be clear from this size 10 raised to the power 6 that n square time complexity will not work here okay all right let's find out what we have to do here okay so we have to return maximum product sub array like maximum product that we can get in a sub array of arr okay all right so basically it means i have to return the maximum product i can get from this array okay from this array and uh, we it's like we should contain all not all the elements but we should contain elements continuous sub array okay sub array basically means continuous so basically it means if i'm selecting minus 2 and minus 3 so 6 should be included 6 should be included that's why it will be a sub array okay otherwise it will not be a sub array okay so if i'm including this 6 i'm including this minus 10 so this minus 3 will be automatically included then it will become a sub array otherwise 6 and minus 10 it's not a sub array okay all right so i hope this problem will be clear to you let's understand with one more example as well so the sub array with here this is one sub array and we have to return the maximum product okay so maximum product sub array is what this 6 minus 3 minus 10 okay so its total product is what 6 and this 180 okay but let's see if i will include minus 2 to it if i will include minus 2 to it minus 2 included to 6 minus 3 and 10 minus 10 it will be turn to a negative it will turn to negative sum negative product okay so this is one thing which is which we should have to check key look if i have if i am getting any negative number i have to include i might have to include it into our sub array into our sub array i might have to include it because minus means negative multiplied by negative it will become positive it will become positive okay so we cannot let's say leave any negative number because in future i can get a positive number and our product will become positive okay so anything i everything i have to include only this zero if i'm getting a zero so if you will you know like anything multiplied to zero will give a zero which will not be our let's say maximum sum maximum product so if i'm getting zero i will restart if i'm getting zero i will restart i will make a new sub array if you remember the cadence algorithm which i explained yesterday so there also it was Key, uh, if I'm getting any negative number, I check if I have to restart. But here, uh, if I'm getting zero, then only I will restart. Okay, all right. So I hope the problem statement will be clear. Now, how are we going to solve this? Look, I have got a very very easy way of uh, to approach this. Look, I will take two variables. First of all, I will take one max, which will be currently equal to negative infinity. Okay, because that is the minimum sum. That is the minimum sum I can get, and anything greater than it will be our maximum sum. Okay, like at the last. Okay, all right. So currently it is negative infinity or integer dot min value we can use in Java. Okay, now I have two pointers. One pointer is to this. Okay, all right. Now what I will say, I get minus two. Okay, so update my max to minus two. Okay, all right. Now I got six. So update my max to minus twelve. Because minus 2 into 6 minus 1. Okay. Now again I got minus 3. Again I got minus 3. Okay. So uh, what? Minus 3 again it will become what? Minus. Uh, it will become 36 plus 36. So you saw like minus 12 and now it become plus 36. So this one sub array can be one potential answer. Okay. All right. After that I got minus 10. So it again the total product will be minus 360. Okay. All right. After that I got 0. I got 0. So I will check. Okay, now look my current will be what current will be zero so current will become zero but our max product is at 36 max product is 36 so i will keep on updating max mat dot max is equal to current comma max okay and after that current will be now what i if i got zero i will reset so now current will become equal to two current will be equal to two okay all right so look this one side i have done but again i have to go to right to left again once i will go from left to right and after that i have to go to right to left as well why look it is very very important because look i got two so if you saw i did not get 180 in the previous turn so if you will see here i didn't get plus 180 i did not get plus 180 of this survey because i'm starting from the very starting okay all right but i can get i have to move from right to left as well why let me explain you that as well so look here 
2 will be our current maximum okay after that i got 0 okay and after that i got minus 10 so on 0 we will reset we will reset okay so now minus 10 will come my max my current product will be minus 10 after that i got minus 3 okay so current product will be what plus 30 okay and after that i got 6 so current product will be what 180 okay 180 and after that i got minus 2 so it will become minus 360 but i did not need minus 360 i got my maximum and this is step 180 and i will be updating my maximum and simply return it okay i hope i hope the approach will be clear so i need to have two loops i need to have like first of all i need to go from the left to right and after that i go need to go right to left ones okay but we can combine this into one as well into one loop as well i can combine because look if i is at this point my n minus 1 minus i n minus 1 minus i will be pointing to this pointer so i can manage both loops together okay and if i will get zero at any point i will simply update it one okay all right now if still it is not clear why i need to go from right to left let me give you one more example it is something like minus one minus one to minus three okay all right so i will keep first of all i will go from right left to right i will get minus one okay and after that i get minus two so it will multiply by minus two okay so total product is what two okay and after i got minus three so multiply by minus three minus six okay so look here in the left to right my maximum reached what my maximum was at point two like i got two only maximum but if i will start from right to left i go i will get six as maximum i will get six as maximum because now here minus one is yet to be included okay all right so this is the difference this is the difference which i wanted to show you and after that let's go to the code part but before that i have made a one cool extension for you let me give you a quick demo so this is our extension and I have injected this watch tutorial button here and this was our yesterday's POTT. So if anyone want to see the tutorial, it will simply click on this watch tutorial and you can see uh, Modal is opening there with uh, various solutions, cadence algorithm. We can simply select there and I can watch the video here only instead of moving, moving to YouTube and searching it. But if I want to watch it on YouTube, I will simply click watch on YouTube and I will be moved here. Okay. All right. And similarly, same thing I can use in lead code as well. So here lead code, I will go here. I haven't injected the button, but we can go to extension here. And if we want to pin it, I can pin it here. And after that on clicking this, so next permutation explanation with various videos will come and we can see it. Okay. I hope you guys have liked it and please share your feedbacks about this and let's move back to the code for the today's POTD. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So let's see the code now. As I told, let me store it to arr.length here. And after that, what result will be integer.min value something like this and after that int l is equal to 0 and r is equal to 0 as well so i'm trying to like say move from left to right and right to left in one single loop okay all right for int i is equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus so look l will be what l will be if at any point l is equal to 0 so now i will make it to 1 I will make it one otherwise it will be l okay and now i will multiply it by arr of i arr of i okay all right now r will be what r same thing if r is at zero at any point so i will make it to one otherwise it will be r and now look arr i it's from left to right from for right to left my current element will be what arr of n minus one minus i okay something like this why because look I'm I'm at if if I'm at i equal to zero, my r will be currently at this two. Okay. If I'm uh, my i is equal to one, our r will be pointing to this zero. Okay. So in this way, I will keep on doing, and I'm taking the product as well by doing arr of n two into. Okay. So l into arr i l into arr i. If l becomes zero, it will be move make it. I will make it one. Okay. All right. And here I will keep on updating my result is equal to math dot max of result and uh, math dot max of l comma r okay so in java i can only include two variables at a time in math dot max i'm writing it two times that's why and here simply return answer return yes okay uh, one semicolon issue is there let's directly submit it meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video and share your feedbacks into the comment section about the extension because it's going to be live soon and please download it okay all right i will see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye